Ivan and Eve Kilcher are reality TV personalities and simple living advocates, known for their starring role in Alaska, The Last Frontier. Eve was born in July 1984 and spends most of her time preparing for Alaska's months-long winters, which is no small feat. Some of her tasks on the show include growing vegetables and raising her and Ivan's children, Findlay and Sparrow Rose. Meanwhile, Ivan takes care of the physical chores around the family homestead and goes on risky hunting trips in the nearby wilderness. Currently, the main Kilcher homestead is home to nine, Ivan and Eve, their children, Ivan's three brothers, and his parents, Charlotte and Otto. Although her unconventional lifestyle as a third-generation homesteader isn't for everyone, Eve is a great fan of simple living, as she grew up surrounded by nature. During his formative years, Ivan lived with family members who taught him all the vital skills he needed to survive and thrive. He then built his own homestead to house himself, Eve, their children, and their beloved pet dog, Tonsai. Eve's interests include making cheese, foraging for food, spending time in the kitchen whipping up new recipes, and instilling in Finley and Sparrow Rose the same love and respect she herself cultivated for her homestead lifestyle. Her successful cookbook, Homestead Kitchen, Stories and Recipes from Our Hearth to Yours, is perfect for beginners and contains 85 original family recipes and advice on foraging, preserving, and gardening. Ivan is a dedicated father, husband, and tenacious outdoorsman. The former firefighter knows just about everything, from making knives to welding. Naturally, he's also an expert fisherman and hunter-gatherer. Ivan hopes to inspire others to reduce their carbon footprint and slowly lean away from mass-produced products and food. These days, Ivan and Eve are keeping fans up to date with their latest projects via social media. Although they believe in living as simply as possible, the couple use their Instagram profiles to drum up publicity for their latest ventures. As of November 2022, Eve is selling personalized copies of her cookbook and is possibly looking to branch out as an author and slowly move away from reality TV. Alaska is a Discovery Channel reality series that premiered in late December 2011 and follows the lives of the Kilcher clan, who are descendant from the Alaskan pioneers Yule and Ruth Kilcher. The family managed to make do without many things that most of us take for granted, such as modern heating and other basic necessities, and just live off the land. The main cast members are Otto, Charlotte, Atz, Bonnie, Atz Lee, Jane, Ivan, Eve, and Shane. Jewel and other extended family members have made sporadic appearances. The first season of Alaska lasted just three episodes, but was a roaring success. It showed the Kilcher family during their final hunting trip before the harsh winter and was especially important given that some of their cattle had been killed and eaten by bears. In the second episode of season one, the family frantically made their last preparations for the winter season. Then in the third episode, tensions reached an all-time high as a newborn calf and its mother disappeared and a search party was organized. Alaska returned with 15 more episodes in October 2012. In an action-packed season premiere, Otto and Atz battled against the elements and lack of food to help out a fellow homesteader in a risky but noble aid mission. Having survived the grueling winter, the Kilchers milled lumber, went on spring hunting expeditions, and fished for king salmon. The show was renewed for a minimum of three more seasons in September 2020. The series was most popular in 2014, when it was nominated for an Emmy Award in Outstanding Unstructured Reality Program, and another in Outstanding Cinematography for Reality Programming. Alaska also won the 2013 Communicator Awards Award of Distinction. The Kilcher family history is rich, full of important historical figures, at least from a homesteading point of view. Julius Jacob Kilcher, the family patriarch, was born in Switzerland in March 1913 and moved to Alaska during his young adulthood. With time, he would adopt the name Yule Foranorth Kilcher and permanently settled in Alaska after returning to his home country for a brief period of time in his mid-twenties. Yule was a cultured man who studied archaeology and comparative philology in Berlin and claimed to have worked as a journalist in North Africa, Poland, and the U.S. 
During his work journeys, Yule learned many skills that would come in handy later on, such as how to build a log house. At last, the Kilcher Patriarch felt ready to move to Alaska, aiming to create an idealistic community with like-minded individuals. In Alaska, Yule changed his name and was given 160 acres of land in the Kachemak Bay area near Homer. As mentioned, he made a brief return trip to Switzerland in 1939 and tried to persuade others to emigrate to Alaska. Two years later, he married an American citizen named Ruth Weber, who was born in Prattland. They raised eight children on the family homestead, were Tilla, Fay, Katkin, Atz, Otto, Stella Vera, Mossy, and Sunrise. As you believed in a self-sufficient and natural lifestyle, they lived without running water or electricity. Yule produced the first documentary series of Homesteading Life, A Pioneer Family in Alaska, and The Last Frontier. He spent three years between 1947 to 1958 traveling around Europe to showcase his documentaries, which were well received due to their novelty factor. Other important achievements in his life include being elected to the Constitutional Convention in representation of the Kenai Peninsula. Subsequently, from 1963 to 1966, Yule held the state Senate seat for the Democratic Party. He considered himself a radical member of the party, but advertised himself as a man of the people. Causes near to his heart included nature conservation, unsurprisingly. Yule participated in the first expedition from Homer to Seward, where he and others would cross the famous Harding Icefield. Ruth and the children took care of things around the homestead whenever Yule traveled for work, but the couple divorced in 1969, and Ruth wasted no time in relocating to Tennessee. After years of toiling on the homestead, Ruth delved into the creative industry and became a writer, journalist, and translator. She also remarried in an intimate wedding ceremony held in New Mexico. The cause of Ruth and Yule's divorce is a mystery, but taking into account Ruth's drastic lifestyle change it's safe to assume that she was disillusioned with homestead living and wanted out. As for Yule, he died of old age in December 1998. The Alaska governor at the time, Tony Knowles, ordered state flags to be flown at half-mast on the day of the Pioneer's funeral. As mentioned, the Kilcher family tree is full of accomplished and famous individuals. For example, Yule's son Atz is a renowned singer-songwriter with impressive yodeling skills. Ott's daughter, Jewel, is an accomplished musician who was nominated for a Grammy Award and has sold over 30 million albums around the globe since she joined the music industry in 1994. Jewel was born in May 1974 in Payson, Utah, while her father was a student at Brigham Young University. She and her older brother, Shane, were raised in the Mormon faith and attended the controversial Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints until 1981 when her parents divorced. Instead of living with her mother, Jewel and her father relocated to the Kilcher homestead, which was miles away from town. Despite the lack of heating and running water, Jewel remembers her childhood years fondly. However, Atz and Jewel had to earn a living somehow, and they began performing in local taverns and roadhouses to make ends meet, when living off the land just wasn't enough. They also sang at more prestigious locations, such as the Hilton Anchorage and the Hotel Captain Cook, which is when Atz taught Jewel how to yodel. Now age 15, Jewel was working at a local dance studio when she was referred to the Interlochen Arts Academy of Michigan by the studio instructor. After being awarded a partial scholarship to pursue an operatic voice degree, Jewel still needed $11,000 to pay for the rest of the first year's tuition. Luckily for her, local businesses raised the money she needed to make her dreams come true. While in Michigan, Jewel received classical training, honed her songwriting skills, and learned to play the guitar. Once again, Jewel had to do live performances to get by. This time, she performed in coffee houses and any other venue that would accept her. After graduating, she moved to California and worked as a coffee shop waitress and phone operator until summer 1993, when she was discovered and signed a lucrative deal with Atlantic Records. Some of her achievements to date include releasing 12 studio albums, winning not one, but five San Diego Music Awards, and forming the Higher Ground for Humanity nonprofit organization, which focuses on sustainable improvements and education. 
Jewel and her mother have had a somewhat rocky relationship since 2003, when the musician accused the latter of stealing millions of dollars from her while acting as her business manager. Apparently, Jewel's mother not only stole all her money, she also landed her daughter in debt. Jewel shared her side of the story in her memoirs, which were published in 2015, full of juicy details. Other famous family members include the singer, activist, and actress Kiorianka Kilcher, Jules' cousin and Jules' great-granddaughter. Kiorianka was born in then West Germany in February 1990 and moved to Hawaii with her mother, Saskia, just two years later, where Saskia gave birth to her second child, Kainoya. Kiorianka was greatly influenced by the vibrant culture of Hawaii during her childhood and learned to hula dance when five years old. She also trained in West African hip-hop, Tahitian dancing, and ballet, and won the Ballet Hawaii's Young Choreographer Award at the age of seven. On two occasions, she was chosen to compete in San Diego's annual Tahitian dance competition. The future celebrity made history as the first child to study classical voice at the University of Hawaii and would later study drama at the Diamond Head Theater. Kiorianka had humble career beginnings as an opening act for Hawaiian musicians, including Willie Kay. In 1999, her family relocated to California, and she busked in Santa Monica for donations from tourists. Moving to California was a risky decision for Saskia, but it paid off for her daughter, who was cast in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Three years later, she studied vocal performance, music theory, and songwriting at Hollywood's Musician Institute after obtaining a full scholarship. She also trained for a black belt in Wushu Kung Fu and in stunt training at the famous National Wushu Training Center. The highlight of Kiorianka's career came in 2005 when she won a National Border Review Award in the Best Breakthrough Performance category for her depiction of Pocahontas in The New World. The movie was critically acclaimed and helped Kiorianka lay the foundations for a lengthy and fruitful career. Some of her other works include playing Tiger Lily in Neverland and Pinty in Shouting Secrets. Not all Kilcher family members are perfect, as in the summer of 2015, Lee and his wife Christina Jane were charged with using a helicopter to hunt during the filming of Alaska. Such action is illegal in Alaska, but the case was put on hold as Lee suffered an injury in a hiking accident. All parties pleaded not guilty, and although the show's production company had to cough up the $17,500 fine, all charges against the Kilchers were dismissed. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.